Brother, I had a thought. What if we took a stealthy approach to our next battle? No. Understand. In the Ragnarok prophecy Odin knows, all the realms get destroyed, including oh. Asgard. In the version Groa kept secret, Asgard still falls. Wouldn't Odin have tried to prevent it either way? What difference did her life really make? Enough. We will be back to Reminds me of tales of a cruel empress, one too angry to die. We will see. Atreus, you are getting better. Faster. I'd even be better than you one day, huh? If you are not, I have failed. Oh. Atreus, I've been considering your question about whether Groa's deception made a difference. <laughs> Finish later. Considering your question about whether Groa's deception made a difference, I think of it this way. When it comes to subverting prophecy, knowledge is power. Without the full picture of the context, the finer details can lead you to tragically incorrect interpretation. Let this wait. Stay alert. Oh! <laughs> 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 
What's that? A diagram for a sword hilt. Perhaps we should show it to one of the dwarves. They'll know what to do with it. Death had cured me of my appetite, but damn if I can't stop thinking about the smell of tear stew. I wakened a fair few culinary cravings, did black pudding, haggis, and neeps. Oh, mother's berry bread. What about you, brother? Any pre thimble winter foods you're aching for? Olives. The hell's an olive? think of cooking meat with those blades of yours? No. They would foul the meat. Oh, because of the magic on them? The blood. Ah, yes. Carry on then. Yes.
Used to pick a favorite poem. That's uncharacteristically indecisive of you. I have a favorite poem already. One from my homeland. We're discussing how manipulating the details of a prophecy can wreak havoc on the believers. Back in my homeland, I was privy to the operations of a certain coven of heath witches who are keen on destabilizing the government. Old. What is that?
Miss Abbott, you mentioned you had a favorite poem from your homeland. What was it about? A cunning general. A war over forbidden love. I believe I've heard of this one. Did it involve a horse that was not as it appeared? Yes. But that is not what happened. Oh, it's based on truth then. You were there. Yes. I heard the poem. I recall I was about to relate the story of the Heath Witches, who overthrew a government using only deceptive prophecies. They picked an influential thane, an otherwise loyal man, and fed him a story of his own ascension to king. They dressed it up in enough details they knew would come to pass, so when they did, they took it as confirmation. Next thing you know, he's helping matters along. He murders his king, sleeping under his own roof. Set that aside for now. Come. Sort of a harp. I can play beautifully, you know. I do not. I would prefer it remain that way.